one of the things that we that occurs today that is very very interesting we talk about private property rights as the essence of capitalism I would urge you to read Hans Hermann Hoppe he has a, a, a small book by the way that is in the Mises Institute that's called what must be done but when you boil down the essence it, it, as a, a several books about private property rights. When you boil down the essence of private property rights, it turns out to be a very interesting argument. Because what do you own? Well, the argument made by the progressives and socialists and, and some of the environmentalists is you own nothing. Um, and there's a lot in history about mutual ownership of the planet that it doesn't it isn't really owned by anyone that it's it belongs to all of us well the essence of private property rights is a thing called prior appropriation so if you go out and you decide that you're going to take a, a natural resource and you're going to apply your time and your effort to that natural resource much like you're going to prune an apple tree so it gives you more apples Almost anyone would tell you that old Mike's down there working on that apple tree. And a lot of people would say, guy's nuts. I mean, they, you, you don't get more apples by pruning a tree, cutting the branches off a tree. Well, it turns out if you spend enough time taking a look at that apple tree, you will get more apples out of it. So now old Mike's time has added to the ability of that tree to produce more apples. And people naturally understand that that's his tree. And now he has value in those apples. Well, Hans Hermann Hoppe talks about the original prior appropriation. And he takes us to the Garden of Eden, where we've got abundance. You don't have any needs for anything. And a lot, of, uh, a lot of people like to use Robins, Robinson Crusoe, uh, the island. And he uses this concept where it's just a land of abundance. Until you, and say there's another person on the island, would like to occupy the same space at the same time. Hmm. So here you are, you've decided that you want to occupy that space at that time, and someone else decides they want to occupy that space at that time. Now you have a conflict. You can begin to negotiate your time. You can say, you stand here now, and I'll stand here then. And think about that in terms of scarce resources. The scarce resource in this instance is that space that you want to occupy at that time. Now the problem arises if the other individual who wants to occupy that space happens to be a gorilla. Now your options are limited. You're going to negotiate with a gorilla? Maybe not because the gorilla will just throw you out of the way. So what are you going to do about it? There's no opportunity to negotiate with the gorilla. You could knock him out or kill him. That puts this idea of scarce resources in play. In absolute abundance, there is no reason for capitalism or specialism. You don't have to specialize in anything. It's all given to you. So that is prior appropriation, and that is the beginning of the idea of private property. I would urge you to read Hans Hermann Hopp. He's still with us, brilliant guy. I think it's, I wouldn't want to insult him, but I think he's in his 70s. Wonderful read. Everything he writes is a wonderful thing to read. Hans Hermann Hopp, the Von Mises Institute. Listen to the old man. Listen to the old man Listen to the old man 
when you can.